Hi, I'm Alison Lim. My hobbies are, oh, I have so many hobbies. I like to do exercises, I like to meditate. I love gardening. I like the begonias best. These are begonias, these are begonias. I also love to sing and dance. Well, <laughs> I also often have tea parties, lunches, dinners. I have lots of different kind of friends, different groups of friends. You can see from last week we had a tea party. <laughs> Cheers. Well, we're done. Cheers. Cheers. All our help. Thank you very much for coming. Look very young. Right? Yeah. Look very young. Thank you. Thank you. So and I very to... cheeky also. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I had friends from different groups coming over that day. We usually would gather together. I introduce people to each other. This is my oldest friend. Not in age, but in years. Everybody has seen Mary on television as well. <laughs> <laughs> that day we made Bing. I always feel that people should be doing things together. You know, like the old village style where you can go next door and say, hey, come, let's make a gukwe or something like that. Hey, Suddenly also begin singing and everybody sang together, which is also very usual. <laughs> While waiting for the ping, we had some lovely dances together. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry? I can't again. Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? After the dance, we will sit down and we, we, we had another good chat and try out our ping. <laughs> Why do you like coming to tea parties? It's not so much for myself because I'm a cranky. It's for my wife who is currently having mild dementia. Coming together is a so called socialize. It's good to have a, a group of friends who can so called engage a certain conversation and so on. Can you recognize which one you make? <laughs> the nicest one. The nicest one. I'm the greedy one, everything is mine. <laughs> Every Wednesday, uh, Alison will have a tea party. So I will bring my wife here. This is her second home, she says. <laughs> she likes to come here and have a fun time and work it out with her. How do you feel like joining tea parties? Mm, it's good because uh, we can have he, he teach me how to learn. Every time she comes here, she cooks a very healthy yep, meal for her. And then also she is very concerned. Uh, not only me, everybody mm. here, he all also were concerned. So you are our Taika Che? <laughs> I'm the oldest. I'm also the cheeky one. <laughs> and I was diagnosed with uh, dementia six years ago. It's not Alzheimer's, it is PPA, which is primary progressive aphasia. My daughter and I created uh, Dementia at Co. And that came about because there was no real support group in Singapore those days. I started stalking people outside of the NNI office, while people were waiting to see the neurologist, I'm like, oh, okay, this person has dementia. And, and then I invite them over to our home. And surprisingly, people trusted me. I, and I have a good face. And <laughs> but also, the minute I mentioned that I have dementia, it relaxes them. I was surprised that people came over and then I could introduce one family to another family to another family. And so, you know, that, that group grew. So how has it been for you guys like, when you first realized or oh know about this. We just go back and then I tell him, hey, so diagnose, huh? confirm you got dementia and then that's it. Lor. Then life still go on. Lor. I found that people become far more relaxed when they are able to accept that they have this condition. To me, it is something that uh, is not unusual in life. As soon as they are able to accept it, it is much easier for the whole family to handle it and, and say, okay, fine, you know, we have all these challenges and what are the worst conditions that we can go in, understand that, prepare for it, 
and then now we need to enjoy ourselves. Okay, I'm going to sing this song, Try a Little Kindness. Okay. You got to try a little kindness. Yes, try a little kindness. Just shine your light for everyone to see. And if you try a little kindness, and you overlook the blind.